Hey guys, I'm Lawrence Mawood Cosplay. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how I made President Mike's neck bracer. We're gonna start off this pattern I made. I'll have a link in the description. I could probably build this with one sheet of EVA foam, but since I have some scrap foam, I'm going to use that instead. These are tools you'll need. You'll need some contact cement, a chip brush, a blade sharpener, a utility knife, and a bevel cutter. And of course, a sharpie to transfer your pattern onto foam. You can use some needles to secure your pattern, so I'm going to do that right now. Grab your sharpie and start tracing like so. Now, we'll do that again, but for these two pieces, we'll have to flip them. Now that we have all of our patterns transferred onto the foam, it's time to cut them out. Here I'm just cutting the foam sheets into smaller pieces so that I have more room to work with. For this build, every outer edge will need to be beveled towards the inside of the pattern. Make sure your blade is sharp. Using a straight edge, I'm going to make my first bevel along the outer edges of the pattern. So bevel edge should look something like this. Now you just have to do that for the rest of the straight edges of the pattern. Remember to sharpen your blade after a few cuts, as the foam will dull the blade. For a curved edge, just take your time with the bevel cut, as it will produce a cleaner end result. Here's a tip I like to use for bevel cuts. When I get close to the end of the cut, in order to evenly apply pressure at the end of the cut, I use some scrap foam from the same thickness as a support. If you did everything correctly, you should have something that looks like this. Now it's time to cut the front panel. This one should be easy because it only has straight edges. And just like before, here's the front panel with the beveled edges. Now we just have to do that for the rest of the pieces. So unlike these other pieces, these top and bottom panels have a lot of curved edges. So just take your time on these and you'll thank yourself later. Remember to keep your blade sharp. With some patience, you'll end up with something that looks like this. To make the buttons for the front panel, I used a 10mm triangle dowel and scored three lines using my nominal guide. So these buttons are going to sit right here in the front panel. Here I already went ahead and cut out the inner details of the front panel. I have to go back and clean this front circle because this mic head is supposed to peek through here. And I'll have a link to this mic head down below. In order for the mic to peek through seamlessly, the edges of the circle need to be beveled. And that's what I'm doing here. Here's a circle with bevel edge. So with that done, the mic sits in the circle just the way I want. Now that everything is cut, we can move on to heat sealing the foam. You can pick up a heat gun through the Amazon link, and unfortunately, a blow dryer will not do the job. The next step is to put it together with contact cement and wear your respirator. Make sure your lid is tight and then give your contact cement a good shake. Then begin to brush the bevel edges like so. Give it a minute or two to dry. Once it's dry, take a corner and carefully put the two pieces together. Here I'm doing the top and front panels first. So we've successfully attached the first two panels. The front buttons are dried, so I'm going to stick that on like so. Here I realized I should have done the back panel first. This is important. The straight long edge is the top of the back panel. Make sure you don't attach this upside down. Once you determine the correct orientation, slowly and carefully line up the edges like so. Once you have the long edges connected, put together the corners like so. So if this back end isn't as clean, it's okay. Remember this is going to be behind your neck with the collar covering it. That means you should take your time with the front seams. Squeezing the edges together, you'll have something that looks like this. Now it's the same thing for the front panel. But before we do that, because this piece comes off, I'm just going to secure it with some hot glue. Apply some hot glue along the edges of the cutout and place it back where it was. Now that it's in place, we're just going to create an indent by pushing it down just a little. With the indent properly in place, come back with some hot glue and secure it. Now for this mic head, we're going to need a different approach because this is metal to foam. And I have the perfect solution because last week I met up with Evil Ted and he dropped some knowledge. What I have here is goop. It's a special type of contact adhesive. Let's see this thing in action. Apply it to the contact surface and spread it with the wooden spatula. Then I'm going to position the mic and find out where I need to apply the glue on the mic. Give it about two minutes to dry, and then put two pieces together. Just like Evil Ted said, it's not gonna move. So that's neat. Let's go back to putting this front panel to the rest of the build. Carefully squeeze the edges together. So with the mic here, we have a little bit of a bump, but it's nothing too crazy. Now that we have the front panel, let's move on to the left panel. 
And same deal as before, carefully take a corner and line up the edges. So when I'm doing this type of build, I usually line up the edges as best I can in the beginning, but then towards the end, start from the opposite corner and then work the edges in. Some push and pull will be necessary. Okay, so I'm gonna stop you guys right there. This is the first time I'm building this, so it was a little difficult. As you guys can see in my tutorial, I was struggling putting the pieces together, but there's actually an easier way to do it, and that's to do the top panel along with this curve and this bottom panel first, glue that together, and then work the details, which is the out front panels, all along the edge. That way you don't have to come in at any weird angle and fight the foam to put the pieces together. So that's the tip, that's something I messed up on, so if you're watching this tutorial, hopefully you guys can avoid that. All right. So because I made this harder for myself, I'm going to have to put this bottom panel along the curved surface. It's not impossible, but there are definitely easier ways. I accepted my fate, so let's get this going. But before we put the two pieces together, while we still have access to the inside, I'm going to use some Gorilla Tape for some extra, extra security. Okay, so let's put the bottom panel on. And of course, I'm going to start with the front because that's the side that's going to be the most noticeable and then work towards the back. Okay, so that was 10 times speed, so it wasn't as bad. Okay, here it is, present Mike's neck bracer. Now all we have to do is seal it and get ready for paint. But before we do that, let's clean up the edges with some goo gone. This will help with the look of your final product. One more thing to do before plasti dipping. Let's cover this mic area with some masking tape. Once you've done that, it's time to plastic dip. I recommend doing this before applying paint. You can pick this up at Home Depot or Walmart or buy it in my Amazon link down below. Okay, so here's the neck piece after plastic dipping it with three coats. 15 minute dry time between each coat and then hitting it with metallic silver to dry overnight. Here I have a sheet of acrylic I just cut out. You can pick this up at Hobby Lobby or a craft store. Also, I have some cassette print out for some fine details. So I'm just going to cut this out, put it inside the indent we made earlier. And I have this perfectly cut acrylic sheet that slides right into the trench. Now, if you can't get a hold of a coat sheet, an alternative would be to use clear tape. It'll give you that nice sheen to look like a case. And finally, these things are Bluetooth speakers. I picked them up on eBay for $5 each, an amazing find. I have a link in the description. They fit in nice and snug, like I designed. And when you need to charge them, just pop them back out. All right, and that's it for this build. This is President Mike's neck bracer thing. It's a little tight. If I was to come back to it again, I'll make it a little bit bigger. That way, uh, it's more universal. But uh, the patterns are available in my shop, so feel free to check it out. Um, these are Bluetooth speakers, uh, and your phone, I think most people's phones, can have dual audio uh, Bluetooth connections, so that's super cool. You can bump some music when you're at the con. Um, that's acrylic, that's a piece of mic. I'll have all of this in the description down below. So now let's test to see if the speakers work. So I charged them last night, so they should be okay. Boom. So they come out like this. Let me check, my phone's connected. Yep, that's a notification. So once that's connected, you just go ahead and pop back in. Boom, like that. We're in business. Those mics, you can actually pick them up on uh, Amazon, but you can pick them up on eBay for a lot cheaper. I think they're like $5 for two, but you'll just have to wait like a month because they're coming from China. So I'll have that, both of those links in the description. You guys can check them out. All right, and that's it for my present mic neck bracer tutorial. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. If you guys are new here and like this video, make sure to hit that like button and check out my other videos I have here. Or if anything, subscribe. Until the next time, I'll see you guys. Bye.